third spiritual law is the law of karma. The word karma simply means action. And actions have meaning beyond what we can see on the surface. Every action generates a force of energy that returns to us in like kind. What we sow is what we reap, and when we choose actions that bring happiness and success to others, that action becomes a part of us. On the material plane, we often see how one action leads to a reaction, one move to a counter move. But karma is more elusive on the invisible plane. Every day we perform subtle actions which hugely influence what life brings to us. Everything that's happening in this moment is the result of all the choices that you've made mentally in the past. The choices that we make do have consequences. They're either evolutionary or destructive. No debt in the universe ever goes unpaid. Often it's our experience that the most negative event at the time ends up being the most positive down the road. Just last month I experienced the loss of a relationship, the loss of a job, and a move from one city to another. Now I could have chosen to look at that as a negative, I could have gotten frantic and asked why this was happening to me, or I could remember that I'm creating all of this, and that everything happens for a reason, and that something better is always on the way. Many times karma works unconsciously, so how should you act when the consequences are uncertain and unforeseeable? You start by observing the choices you are making in each moment. In practical terms, ask yourself, what are the consequences of these choices? Out of the infinity of choices, there's always one, the right one, the one that'll bring you and everyone else maximum happiness. So how do we make the right choice? At the moment you consciously make a choice, pay attention to how you feel. If you feel uneasiness or discomfort in your body even as you ask the question, then that choice is probably not karmically appropriate. If you get a message or a sensation of comfort, then the choice you are making is karmically appropriate. The future is generated by the choices we are making in every moment of our lives. Karma reminds us that there's always the opportunity for change. Today witness the choices you make in each moment. In the mere witnessing of these choices, you will bring them into your conscious awareness. Know that the best way to prepare for any moment in the future is to be fully conscious in the present. Whenever you make a choice, ask yourself these two questions. Number one, what are the consequences of the choice that I'm making? And number two, will this choice bring fulfillment and happiness to me and also to those who are affected by this choice? Then ask your heart for guidance and be guided by its message of comfort or discomfort. If the choice feels comfortable, plunge ahead with abandon. If the choice feels uncomfortable, pause and see the consequences of your action with your inner vision. This guidance will enable you to make spontaneously correct choices for yourself and those around you.